Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper, and I am a full-time reseller, and I'm going to do a research video with you on necklaces. So we haven't done necklaces in a while. These will all be vintage necklaces. It is going to be 20 designer pens and papers out, and let's take a look. months since I did a necklace video and it's time to refresh but I told you I was only going to do ones up to $500 for this month so that is what we are doing so every single one of these sold for $500 or best offer none are lower because there are so many that sell that $500 mark so definitely some names you are going to want to remember First up is this gorgeous Italy. It does say Chihuly style. It is not a Chihuly necklace or it would have sold for quite a bit more. Designer unsigned pink art glass necklace. Really, really cool art glass necklace. This one sold for a best offer on $499. And we will take a look at it here. Gorgeous, gorgeous pink glass necklace. There is the made in Italy, which is something I look for on almost every every kind of item you could even imagine. And this one is a great example of an unsigned piece selling at $500. Next is this French mogul, red, blue, and green, another glass bead, dangling brass leaves, vintage necklace, another best offer on $499. And here we'll take a look, beautiful brass leaves and glass drop beads pendants, whatever you would like to call them. Here they are a little bit more up close. There is the clasp and this one is another one that is not signed that sold for close to $500. Up next is a Miriam Haskell. This is an early Miriam Haskell Gripois poured molded glass flower bunch necklace and bracelet set. So another, this is three in a row with glass. Watch for those vintage glass necklaces. This one sold for 500. This one was not a best offer. Here you can see it up close. Miriam Haskell is definitely a designer you want to keep an eye out for, but please keep in mind some of her pieces sell for less. They do not all sell this high. This one actually looks like it is an unsigned piece. Miriam Haskell does not have a signature on this one. And you saw the pictures, they did show the construction. As far as identifying Miriam Haskell without a tag, personally, I use Google Lens to try. And I have read a couple of books. It is pretty detailed as far as learning these designers with the unsigned pieces. Next is a vintage signed Shriner Amber Art Glass Cabochon Rhinestone Necklace and Earrings. This one was an auction, but it only got one bid. It sold for $495. Shriner is a name that we mostly see come up when we do our high dollar brooch videos, but they do other pieces of jewelry as well. Here you can see the photographs. This one is a beautiful, beautiful necklace. And you can see the CZs and they are taking quite a few pictures here of this one as well as the measurement. And it looks like this one is actually another unsigned piece as well. I am not seeing that Shriner of New York on it. And again, it's very, very difficult and takes quite a bit of learning and reading to be able to identify these. It does look like here though on one of the pieces, it does have Shriner New York. So it was on one of the pieces as far as being able to identify it and great sale at $495. Next is this vintage mid-century modernist brutalist brass copper artisan statement necklace. This one is really, really neat. It looks like that is Jasper there in the middle. This one sold for a best offer on $499. Here you can see them holding it. This is a pretty large statement necklace. Definitely true to those keywords. Gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. And this one is another one that is not signed and still sold at that $500 mark. 
Next is a name I was not familiar with, and that is designer Yakov Heller. This is a sterling silver and gold iris lily choker necklace sold for a best offer on $499. And here you can see they have a page from a book about the artist, which is pretty cool. And they are showing this necklace in the book and the iris lily with gold pendant. Here it is a little bit closer. And here on the back, you can see it is signed Yakov Heller. So easy to identify as long as you're able to figure that signature out. And hopefully Google Lens would help you. And since it is sterling silver, they do show a picture with the weight, which is 14 grams. So this is actually a pretty lightweight necklace and a great sale best offer on $499. This necklace came up in our last high dollar necklace video. This is still selling over a half a year later. This is a rare vintage Har Cobra Snake Rhinestone Enamel Necklace. This one was another auction and another one with just one bid. This one sold for $495. And I did see some wear to this one as well as discoloration on that necklace. And you can see it here in the rhinestones as well. So these do not have to be in perfect shape. Here you can see there that patina. And here is the clasp on that one. And I don't see this one marked with the har. I believe some of them are marked though, but it looks like this one was not. I put this one in because Sometimes simplistic necklaces can sell for big money. This one is simplistic looking, but it is a Christian Dior. This one is a vintage gold plated faux pearl station chain necklace sold for a best offer on 500. And if you just looked at this necklace and didn't pay attention, I don't think you would know. But look at this signature here, Christian Dior there on the clasp, which is Money, 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 my friends, and a great sale. I have found Christian Dior pieces and jewelry lots. They are out there. This one sold for a best offer on 500. Next is a beautiful mother of pearl turquoise sterling silver Navajo bead. It does say Lariat necklace signed by B. Yazzie. So Navajo and Native American jewelry typically sells pretty high. You can search the artist either on eBay and also on WorthPoint. I do tend to use both when I price my items. This one sold for $495. Here you can see this one is a beautiful, beautiful necklace. There is that signature the B Yazzy. So that one's pretty easy to read. And this one is 55 grams. So it is a heavier necklace and a great, great sale at $495. Next is another Miriam Haskell necklace. This is a 10 millimeter Baroque pearl roses Montese floral necklace. This one sold for a best offer on $500. Here you can see it's very, very detailed on that drop pendant. Quite a bit of work went into that. And you can see the Baroque pearls as well. Quite a few pictures. And this one is marked. So I wanted to show you that. That's why I threw another Miriam Haskell in here. Some of her work is signed. Some of it is not. Definitely check it. And great, great sale. Best offer on $500. Next is a Scottish antique moonstone bib sterling silver necklace. This one sold for $500. This is the first one I've seen with the authenticity guarantee. Not sure how eBay determines which ones go into that and which don't because these are all selling at the same price point. So here you can see this one's a beautiful drop bib necklace with moonstone. And you can see there the length it is looks like about an 18 inch necklace. I typically just measure my necklace, not the drop on them when I am photographing. And this one was a great sale at $500. Accordion Couple Scene, one of my favorites. This is an antique Max Niger hand-painted courtship porcelain series necklace. This one sold for $499. And we will take a look at this here. You can see the porcelain 
sporting couple scenes, as well as it looks to be brass with this one. And you can see it up closer there. Beautiful, beautiful necklace. And this one, they did not show a signature, so I'm not sure how they attributed that, but great sale at $499. Next is another one that is not signed. This is a dainty antique Victorian Bohemian rose cut garnet flower link necklace. 15 inch they did put as is and here you can see it says as is two tiny drops are missing. You can see the empty O-rings one on each side of the necklace. So it's missing stones and still sold for a best offer on $4.99. So do not think that a couple of missing stones necessarily are going to devalue it by very much. This one is a beautiful garnet necklace. There you can see one of those missing ones. There is the other one. And here is the clasp. This is another that is not marked. You can see it does have the significant wear to the back there. And this one still sold for a best offer on $499. This one is pretty cool. This is a Bakelite vintage designer, pale yellow Bakelite necklace. This one is signed, Les Nereides, and it sold for $499. To check for Bakelite, you do use semi-chrome, and I do have a video on just Bakelite. I will pop that up top for you. Here you can see this is a beautiful necklace. It is in excellent condition does not look like it has much, much wear. There is that Les Nerides signature. And this one was a great, great sale. Buy it now at $499. Here, my friends, is another unsigned piece selling at that $500 point. This is an estate vintage unique sterling silver snake chain. Snakes and serpents do very, very well. This one is sterling silver. And here you can see beautiful, beautiful snake clasp is all really that is unique about this one. It is on a rope chain and this one sold for $499. This is on the lower end for amber necklaces. So I did want to let you guys know that, but $500 is still a good sale. This one sold for $490. It says antique natural amber faceted bead necklace, 90 grams. So with amber, you do want to weigh it. People want to know that weight. And here you can see the photographs of this one. It is faceted, quite chunky beads. 90 grams is pretty heavy and amber is typically lightweight. Look at how big this is in their hand. And amber, people like to see it photographed in natural light, which is what you're seeing here on most. They are showing some defects. You can see a crack in that bead there. So that might be why it sold at this $500 point and not for more because a lot of amber actually will go for over $1,000. And this one was a great, great sale at $490. I believe this is my favorite necklace in this whole video. And with this one, we are up to our last five necklaces, except for mine. I'm gonna show you mine at the end as well. This is a micro mosaic necklace, Victorian Italy antique festoon, sold for $499. The seller, their name is Micro Mosaic Jewelry. So that is probably pretty much all they do. This is a beautiful, beautiful detailed micro mosaic necklace. Definitely something to watch out for. I actually, over on Cat's Treasure Hunting soon, you will see I picked up a micro mosaic picture frame that I think should do pretty well. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous necklace and great sale at $499. Next is a Norway, Norwegian Einar Modal Sterling Galosh enamel choker necklace vintage. This one sold for a best offer on $495. They do say minimal indication of wear and silver is unpolished. So we will take a look here. This looks to be in great condition. Here you can see the Sterling Norway signature. It's hard for me to read what that top, I think that is an E maybe for that Einar Modal and 
beautiful, beautiful choker necklace, all sterling silver. They didn't put the weight on this one. I, I expect it as probably maybe around 50 to 60 grams and a great sale best offer on $495. Next, this is kind of interesting because they did not test it. This has 101 gram amber cherry necklace. It does say Fauteron beads and they put amber and then question mark for Bakelite. So they obviously did not test it to see if it's Bakelite or they would know if it was amber or Bakelite. This one was an auction. It got one bid at $500. Typically your cherry Bakelite and cherry amber sell quite a bit higher. If this was mine, I definitely would have tested it to know for sure what it was. But a $500 sale, we don't know what they paid for it. It is 101 grams. You can see here on the scale. And this does have the vintage twist closure there I see you can see there again in natural light definitely something you want to show with amber and this one was a great sale at five hundred dollars next is a collar art deco it is bakelite and metal gold plated this one says it is Jacob Bingel it is vintage this one sold for a best offer on $499. This one is not one I necessarily would have thought was worth that much. But here you can see that gorgeous Bakelite there in the middle. That is one of the big reasons this one is selling so high. I do not see them showing a signature on this one, unfortunately. And great, great sale. Best offer on $499. Dollars, And this is the last of the research. And now I am going to finish this up showing you my necklace that sold for a best offer of $542. All right, my friends, this is my necklace that sold yesterday. I did accept a best offer of $542. I paid $150 for this on an online auction. So it's over a $300 profit and it sold pretty fast. It sold in two months. So this one is by Joe H. Quintana and it is signed and I will show you that. There is that JHQ. So in order to do that, I researched it both on eBay as well as Worth Point and found the selling history. So I had it priced at 650, but at that $542 mark, I was still making an excellent, excellent profit and pretty fast selling it in two months. So watch out for your Native American pieces, look up those signatures, research it, be willing to pay up because a lot of the bigger profits you are going to have to pay up. And this is my own necklace sale. All right, friends, I just finished packing that necklace right before I was recording this video. Really, really good sale. When necklaces are that high, I put it in a hard closed clamshell box. I keep those if I get lower cost necklaces in them. So when my higher price ones sell, I can use those to put them in. I also always put them in a box and I did pay for extra insurance on that out of my pocket. It was $12 to cover it up to the 500 in case it is lost or damaged. So I recommend that if you're selling higher dollar items and typically the seller is the one to pay that. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you learned a lot of new names and styles to look for. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful weekend. We are headed to Clearwater Beach right after I make this video. And we're going to go try and find some sand dollars and pick up some really, really nice items from an online auction down there. I hope to see you and our live every Tuesday, our live podcast, and I will see my members tomorrow night. So if you don't know, I do a membership for $9.99 a month and I do sourcing by your zip code. I look at estate sales in your area, see what I see, let you know what I would buy. And that is tomorrow. So now is a great time to join that membership. So thank you to all of you that are already members. I look forward to seeing my sourcing members tomorrow night. And have a great, great weekend. I know I said it once, but guys, enjoy the weekend and I'll see you on the next one.